Hey there, so this is kind of a two-in-one video. <clears throat> uh, first off, TJ and me made a, a very similar video at almost the exact same time. Pretty much the exact same time when we were, after watching Nathan's video, uh, Blu-ray Anonymous. And uh, at that time, we uh, <laughs> both responded to each other after seeing each other's video with almost the exact same words. So, dude, my brother from another mother, or Twilight Zone clone. Uh, five shows. I'm picking five that I don't have, <clears throat> because, uh, yet, at least, because basically, yeah. Uh, the answer yours, and then I'll do the uh, 11 that I do have. Uh, and uh, shows that I don't have. Uh, the complete original run of Doctor Who. Secret Agent Man, uh, The Avengers, uh, especially the MPO years, yes, I got that one coming for my birthday, but I don't legitimately have it yet, so it doesn't count, so that one too. Uh, let's see, what else don't I have? Just because it's such an epic show, uh, Star Trek, the, uh, no, no, Sugar Ash, not Star Trek. I like Star Trek, but I don't know if I could like watch it and rewatch it. Yes, I could. Star Trek: Next Generation. I've been in before. And uh, number five, ah, uh, these are not my all my fa time favorite shows. But these are ones on an island that I think would be great to have if, that I don't have. Uh, Cell Block H. It's like a women's prison show done in uh, I think it's done in Australia. So, out of the stuff I have, I'm not going to get this one out. Everybody's seen it on my channel. If you haven't seen it. Go back. You asked me to review it again. I'll review it again sometime. That's the Dark Shadows Complete series. Huge coffin box set. There's 130 something discs there. So that I'm a huge Dark Shadows fan. That's number one. Uh, number two is a very cheesy show because I think you need something that's really cheesy and that cannot pass the time <clears throat> and kind of be kind of mindless, brainless fun. And uh, that is Charlie's Angels. Yeah, I have the complete series, and the girls are cute, so why not? Next up is one that uh, we both chose. I don't have the Blu-ray edition you've got, but I do have the DVD edition, and I'm pretty sure it's got all the same uh, stuff on it. And that is The Prisoner, one of my favorite series of all time. Uh, it's such a trippy, fun show. I've always uh, loved the show. I love the uh, presentation, the writing. Uh, just it, it is so weird and cool, and... Uh, unique and if you haven't seen this it's a fantastic series everybody should have this in their collection I also chose the Doctor Who suit box set that's a complete series but I didn't choose Key to Time I originally thought about choosing the Key to Time but what popped me over the edge on this box set is that aside from watching the shows the features on this one are probably the best of any features that I've seen in any Doctor Who set Trial of a Time Lord. Uh, the, st the stories are cool, but the crap that Colin Baker had to go had to put up with behind the scenes. I would watch this documentary on an almost daily basis. There's some documentaries on this that are really cool. Unfortunately, this is the only season of this series I have, but there's no way in hell I could not put this on my on my set. And because I had a season, I excluded it from the shows that I in the five dream ones that I put up in front. And that is uh, Twilight Zone, the uh, definitive edition, season one. Uh, really, really cool. I do want to get the whole thing down the road. I would like to have it on Blu-ray, but uh, honestly, it's Twilight Zone. It was done back in the uh, back in the day, so DVD would be definitely good enough for me on Twilight Zone. Next up, and I got these taken out of their case, but it's a complete series, so it counts. So that's one... Two, three, four, five. Get Smart, the complete series. I uh, was a really big fan of this growing up. I uh, love Don Adams, love Get Smart. You know what I'm going to put in place of a uh, Star Wars, Star Trek kind of thing, but let's, let's replace Star Trek and put Mission Impossible. I really love Mission Impossible. This is a whole place, isn't it? I just got home. I aced my test, so I'm really happy right now. My favorite science fiction show of all time. Uh would have to go with me. And it's a British one. 
And it doesn't get the credit that I really think it deserves. I think this is a fantastic show. I really seriously think this is a fantastic show. And uh, Space 1999. I love this series. Especially the first uh, first series of this. It's very Hammer-esque. Uh, and dark and gothic and a lot of the stories. There's some brutal stuff there. I still remember the one about the ice planet where the guy stays on. And the creatures that you go under and you come out stone with the one eye. And it freaked the crap out of me when I was a kid. Uh, you know, I got a lot of science fiction here when I think about it. Uh, I like a lot of sci-fi stuff. So that's why the next one was a must. And I think it's got to be a must on almost anybody's list. And I'm excited because they're making a new uh, TV movie of this. And uh, hopefully uh, it'll be good. I know Peter Dinklage from uh, Game of Thrones is supposed to be a new TV movie. And that's uh, Firescape. A brilliant show. I love the uh, puppetry in this here. Uh, just some fantastic stuff. There is a uh, episode of this that is done like, uh, like Looney Tunes. Literally, it's like a cartoon episode. I, and I love that episode. It's one of my favorites. Next up is one of my favorite shows of all time. And, uh, and one of my favorite things that I own. Yeah, it's Thriller. Thriller is a fantastic show. Just an amazing show. I can watch this day and night. Uh, and the last one here. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, ten. So i got to think of another one that I own. Which I'll do, but one of my prized pieces of my collection is The Man from Uncle. Great, great show. Uh, this has, I think, all, was it five or so many seasons of the show right now? Four or five? Oh, I can't remember right now. Oh, well, however many seasons of this show ran, I have them all. 105 episodes, anyway. Pretty cool. In a briefcase, lots of features. I had one in three seasons. Was it three seasons? I believe it was three seasons. Okay. So, I'm left with one more. And what do I do? There's lots of runner-ups. Uh, first, I'll give you some honorable mentions. That didn't make it, but almost did. Uh, the Persuaders with Roger Moore and Tony Curtis. Fantastic series. I got both, but I couldn't just choose one box set, so I couldn't use that one. Spectre Lindley Mysteries, another great British show that I liked a lot, uh, but yet I've only got the first three or four series as a box set, so I didn't choose that one. I had a kind of out. I couldn't break up the sets. It's just such a great show. So my, na my last one had to be something that was fairly complete. Something that uh, I wouldn't mind. And, uh, I actually don't have it thought up. Go figure, huh? You know what? Let's go with, uh, a show that I've always found really funny. Because I don't think I've got any comedy here, except for Get Smart. So, uh, let's take, uh, Let's take Looney Tunes, the uh, gold collection, uh, and you know what, I can't because there's six volumes and I don't have them on, on one set, some people have the whole set thing, but uh, I will choose, oh my god, it's so hard to choose, you know, preparation before you do this, it should be Mary with Children, complete series, that I do have, so there we go. 11 sets. See, I made my own question harder than this is going to be doing Nathan's question, which is halfway done, but uh, I'm waiting for my better half to uh, okay the other ones. Uh, we do have a few interesting stuff for the for Nathan's stuff, and uh, thank you, TJ, for the uh, for the question, and uh, it's amazing that we both set up the same freaking question. So, guys, if you haven't checked out TJ's channel, TJ Pyramid, Check it out, subscribe, like, comment, the whole works, you know what to do. And his fantastic and gorgeous smart wife, uh, Ned Creepy Monster Squad, has her own channel as well. And she does some amazing stuff. And, uh,
I want to see her response. She hasn't responded yet. To both of us. Actually, I want to see her response to both of us. So, thank you for watching, guys. Have a fantastic day. I just aced my exams that I was sure that I was going to do really, really bad on. My weekend has started. I don't have any more school till Monday. So, cheers. I'm going to go watch Hulu and uh, the WWE Network and have some fun. And uh, one more thing. One last thing. One last little detail that I have to do. I've got a ball to kettle. It's time for tea.